Okay, so let's talk about the problems with the C5 Corvette. Now, if you're looking at buying one of these cars, I'm gonna just quickly go over the problems that I have experienced in these cars and the ones that I already know of. So let's go ahead and start off. It is raining outside, so I'm sorry that if uh, you know a water droplet gets all here, we are doing some extreme videoing today. This is extreme, baby, but we're out here for you guys. So the first thing that I wanna talk about on these cars are the headlights are absolutely trash at night. Now, you don't have to go with night drive TV headlights. You can actually go with um, some you know, Amazon basics, you know, LED headlights, and that'll probably help you out a lot. I went with these because I just wanted to, you know, uh, buy once, cry once is the version that they say. So that would be the number one thing I would change on these cars. The second thing is, is sometimes you might actually have problems with the, you might actually have problems with the windshield wipers. Um, these things actually have problems uh, where the windshield wiper motor actually goes out because water gets into them because the ducts aren't clean. I've actually taken my ducts out, but I've also still have problems with this thing. So like windshield wipers are like, they're a killer. I'm actually gonna work on something a little bit later on trying to fix that. But anyway, windshield wipers are a killer. Uh, the third thing with these cars are the seals. The seals in these cars are not the greatest. Um, now, I think in the FRC slash Z06, maybe even the convertibles, I think that they actually have a lot less problems with seals than the coupes do because this is a removable top car. So with that being said, the seals on these cars are absolutely terrible. Water drips through them uh, whenever it is raining. And so this is not a particularly lovable rain car unless you get the brand new nice seals, which are not really that expensive. I just haven't invested in them yet. Um, but you do have to change out the seals eventually in these cars and sometimes you have to adjust the, the uh, windows on them but other than that it is a very very nice car now let's go ahead and go into the interior and let's talk about a couple of things here so the first thing that i want to talk about is in the interior you're going to be wanting to look at you know the cup holder it's only going to have one unless you buy one from the steady vent which we have some ready to ship out right here and also while we're here what you can put in that cup holder is freshen up if you do enjoy um you know some kind of you know powder or they even have cans if you enjoy energy drinks these are one of the cleanest ways to get energy drinks right here you can either get the powder of this um or you can get cans and i promise you you can look into the ingredients and everything and I promise you it's probably one of the cleanest energy drinks that you've ever seen out there. Go ahead and use code STEADY over there and get you some cans. But anyway, um, I added a secondary cup holder because you only get one cup holder. Now the third thing with these cars is obviously the radio for me. I don't particularly like the radio. Some people do. It works fine, but I upgraded mine into a Apple CarPlay radio, just a basic one off Amazon because um, I'm kind of a cheapo. As long as it's got CarPlay, that's all I need. Um, the last and final thing would be the creaking and crackling that you get with just a 20-year-old car. Um, as you drive, you can hear it squeaking and cracking and so on and so forth, but with a little bit of time and patience, you can actually track all of those down and actually fix them. Um, so other than that, if you're trying to buy a C5, I actually highly recommend it, and we're going to be talking a lot about can you daily drive a c5 is it affordable to drive daily drive a c5 we're going to be going over cost um and is it effective or not um in the next video so sorry i had something on my mind but anyway in the next video we're going to be talking about can you daily drive a c5 corvette so go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed if you do want to see those make sure you turn the notification bell to all that way every time that i post something you will get that notification with that being said if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a big fat like on this thing and i'll see you guys in the next one peace